it's me with my Starbucks cup. What you got to say? Even though I might got water in it, but I'm still bougie with it, okay? Hey family, what's going on? It's your girl Tanya and Ross, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I talk about sexual wellness, fashion, lifestyle, career, entrepreneurship advice. So if any of those things are of interest to you, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below so you can become a part of the family too. And for all my returning viewers, hey family, what's going on? Thank you so much for coming back and clicking on another video from your girl. So today, y'all, I am super excited. I am bringing y'all something a little bit different. I feel like I do, you know, quite a bit of hauls and collective things. But this is something that I've been waiting to do for a while. I just had to really get my ducks in a row because y'all don't understand. This is an obsession. This is a problem. I'm actually glad I don't work at this place no more. But as y'all see by the title of this video, I am doing my Starbucks cup collection, y'all. So yes, I am a Starbucks hoarder and I'm proud. I am proud to say it. I used to work at Starbucks for uh, four years. I worked there all throughout college. It was my first job. Absolutely loved it. I highly recommend anybody that's looking for like a part-time job or just somebody that, you know, you're looking for something on the side or whatever or to get you to school just in general. I really think Starbucks is a great company. They have benefits, all kinds of stuff. So I can do a separate video on that if you guys want me to. But anywho, we're going to get right into what this video is about. And that's all the cups that I have, y'all. So if you guys are ready to see which ones that I have, don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up and let's get started with the video. Okay, y'all. So we're going to try to break this down as easy as possible because when I tell y'all I have over 30 cups it's, it's bad and this is actually not as bad as what it used to be I declutter I gave them away I donated it was bad so I don't have as many as I used to have but I still do have a lot so I'm gonna try to break it down in like cold cups tumblers mugs ceramic cups all of that good stuff so we can keep it short and to the point and I do also have a special treat for those who um, are not really too familiar with like Starbucks and collecting cups and all that I do have a collection from um, Japan. I think it was like the Sakura. Don't butcher me y'all, but the Sakura collection, something like that, that came out this year. My bestie, she lives in Japan. Shout out to her. She was able to get me some cups from over there. So I do have those, but I'm gonna save those for the end because I haven't even used none of those yet. So I wanted to share those with y'all as well. Anyways, let's get right into the first cup y'all. So we're gonna start out with our plastic, kind of like cold cups. The ones are, I wouldn't say boring, but I don't think they're really, really that exciting. So this is my first one I have. Um, I think I paid like less than $4 for it when I was working there. And uh, one of the guys that I used to work with, he did like art and stuff like that. He was really, really nice. His name was Andy and he made, um, everybody, he bought all, everybody one of these and wrote our names in it in a very funky kind of way. So he kind of like Disney and stuff like that. So he wrote it like in Disney print, but it's just my name on the side. And this is just a really cute cup to have. They always have these in the store. They're like $4, they're reusable. You can bring them in the store. I don't know if they still do this, but you say if you could bring your cup in the store, you would get 10 cents off your order. It's not much, but hey, I guess it adds up all that expensive you're getting in there so um this is just what it looks like very very cute simple if you just want a starbucks something you want to start out but you don't want to break the bank definitely check out the cold cups um they always have them in the front or whatnot the next kind of cold cup i have is another one similar to that one but this one i want to say it came out last year and what the cool thing about this one is when you put water in it it um makes this uh confetti kind of stuff pop up on the cup and it makes it colorful so it's really really cute it came with this blue top and i think it had like a um kind of like a candy cane looking like a straw that went along with it but it was a rainbow sense i don't know where it's at some of these ain't gonna have no lids on them either i'm gonna be honest with y'all but this one was like less than four dollars as well and i don't think they carry it anymore but i know currently right now they have one that's similar to this but now they have like marble swirls on it instead of the confetti swirls or the confetti little print so that's that one the next one i have is just this one so this one came in like a five pack i know like every year they try to do like different like five packs of cups and different stuff and people went crazy over these i only got one and my sister managed to get this for me because she works at starbucks too but um these were like five different color changing cups and so i think the pack of five was about like 18 to 20 dollars people were reselling it for 100 plus like it got crazy y'all so this one um i managed to get one of them and this is just a blue one um, and it comes with a yellow straw so all you do is you just put like your drink in it and it changes colors all the different ones had a different color change that was with it so everybody really really liked those when it came out and you know very simple and cute so that's that one um the next one we have is this one so i got this one um i was working at starbucks like years ago like around 
it was like a collection they did in the Christmas time and it was a lot of like sparkles and glitters and stuff. They had like a pink one, a black one, and then I got this white one. So hopefully y'all can see. Um, but this is what it looks like. So cute. I'm trying to make sure y'all can see like the sparkle and stuff in it. Let me turn this down a little with my ring light. So there we go. Yeah, I want y'all to see these sparkles, honey, because this thing is sparkly. Real, real cute. And this straw did not come with it, but I thought it would give it a nice little touch, like for the winter time. And um, it's just this candy cane looking like straw. This isn't a grande size. Um, and those other ones I showed you guys, they're in a venti size, like if I'm not mistaken. Either a grande or a venti. One of them two. I'll tell you guys too. But y'all should know when y'all looking at it. But just to confirm, I'll put that in the video. This cut was $14.95. But of course, I paid less when I was working there because we got discounts. But yeah, so this is just another cute little cup to have. I don't feel like they have a lot of cute grande cups. It's more so venti. So anytime I seen a grande cup, I always used to pick it up. But anyways, um, the next cup we have here is the top is not for it. But this is actually... Uh, I got this for my mom, either my mom or my sister, I can't remember, but it was like this uh, teacher's edition, because um, she's a teacher, so it came with like this uh, yellow top, and it kind of looked like on the straw was a pencil, so it was really cute, and then the base of it is a notepad, as y'all can see, so excuse how dusty it looks, but I don't know where the rest of the cup is, but this is what it looks like, it's a Vinci size, this one just came out recently too, I want to say last year, but um, the price of it is $16.95 and yeah, I've seen this getting resold for a crazy amount as well. So that is this one. All right, y'all. So the next one I have is just this regular, um, sorry, some of these look dusty because I got these from the garage. So I don't know what was going on with them, honestly, but this is just one that just said Starbucks up there. So they had like a whole bunch of these that came out in a collection. They were different colors and they just had the simple Starbucks on the side. But it's a really cute like neon kind of like blue and then it has that pink up there. This one was $14.95 and this is a venti as well. So that's what this one looks like. Another cute cold cup to have. The next one is kind of like it came out with a Christmas collection that we had one year and it was like mermaid and all different kinds of stuff. This cup is mermaid. Um, but this is what it looks like. So it's like the mermaid kind of like scales all over it. Then it has a Starbucks on the side if y'all can see. And yeah, so I thought this was cute. The gold, uh, the top that comes with it is gold. And then it also came with, I want to say, a gold straw. And this one was, ooh, $19.95. Child, you lying. But it was probably because it came with the Christmas collection. The Christmas collection was always more expensive than the other ones. So that's that one. Um, the next one we got here is this tropical one. So um, this came out with like a collection we did in the summertime. So I thought this was super cute. It has like leaves all over it. It has the Starbucks black logo. And then the top came, it came with orange. So I thought that was a really nice touch to it to give it like that jungle kind of feel. And then it has this cute stripe on the back. I don't remember what kind of straw it came with, but usually it always comes with like green straws or whatever. Um, this one was $16.95 when it came out. And yep, real cute and giving that summertime feel for real. Okay, the next one I have is this Pride Edition cup. I actually love this cup. Uh, one of my um, exes actually got this for me because she know I used to love Starbucks a lot. So um, this is what this one looks like and it says love on it. And it has a Starbucks logo on the side. I actually have never used this cup yet. Some of these cups I've never used them, but I just, Y'all know how it be when you're a hoarder. You just you, you see something you want and you're like, I gotta have it, but you don't necessarily have to use it. So this is just what one of those were, but I think this is just super cute. I want to say this came out two years ago for the Pride Collection. It wasn't last year, I know that. It had to be a year before that. But this one was $16.95. And yeah, it just has all the rainbows and the stripes on it. It's definitely on trend. We getting ready to go into Pride now because June is right around the corner. So that is this one. And it's a Venti as well if you're curious. The next one we have here is one. I've had this one for years, too. Um, my ex got me for this as well. Um, but this is like a hieroglyphic kind of like cup. I have ran this cup through the ringer. Like, but I love it, though. Um, it's just, as y'all can see, it kind of like changes colors. It's iridescent. The top is kind of like the same way. It's a venti cup as well, a cold cup. It was $16.95. And, yeah, I just hold this one near and dear to my heart because it's so cute. And it. I've been through so much stuff with this cup, so that's this one. Y'all keeping up with me? Hopefully y'all are, cause I'm trying to do this as efficient as possible, but also by still showing y'all everything. But this is the next one. I wanna say I got this last year, but I cannot remember. 
the stud is definitely on trend a lot of cups are coming out with like this studded material and people are going crazy over it so this is like an iridescent looking kind of wine very cute giving me mermaid for sure um it spiked all the way around and i want to say the straw was kind of like spiked too but it wasn't like actually spiked it just looked this spiked. um this one was 18.95 and yeah definitely a cute cup to have in the spring and the summer you know when you studying and stuff and people looking at you like i hope she she is yes it's me with my starbucks cup what you got to say even though i might got water in it but I'm still bougie with it, okay? So that's this one. That's what she gives. She gives me bougie. Um, the next one is, oh my God, this used to be my favorite. Actually, I wanna say this is one of my favorite Starbucks collections, and I'm so mad because I had another one too. It was like a Toucan Sand one, and I don't know where it went, but this was like when I worked at Starbucks, probably like my second year, second, third year. In the summertime, they came out this collection with a whole bunch of different fruits and stuff. They had like a watermelon cup, the pineapple cup, an apple cup. They had the Toucan Sam cup. I don't know where that one is, but I wish I could find it. It's probably one of the ones either I donated or somebody stole it. But I ain't gonna get on that because I had a whole little issue that happened a couple of whiles ago when people were trying to take my cups. But I'm gonna let it slide. Um, anyways, so this is this one. It is a pineapple. So as y'all can see, y'all got the green on top, kind of like the leaves. And then the base of it is giving that pineapple look. It got stars on it and it has a Starbucks on the side. So I think this is so cute. Definitely on trend for spring and summer. Um, it was $16.95. And yeah, this collection was hands down my favorite because i just thought it was so cute and unique and all the fruits and stuff so that's that one the next one i have here is kind of like another iridescent kind of cup and it has that scallop kind of like mermaid look to it again it's kind of see-through as y'all can see this is a venti cup as well and yeah super cute it was 16.95 and i've had this one for a while too i want to say i got this last year though but I could be wrong. I got so many cups, y'all. I, I promise y'all, I can't keep up with it. So that's that one. The next cold cup is one I actually just got recently from um, Japan or whatnot. My bestie sent it to me, and I didn't realize I already had like a spike like cup. So I really didn't need this, but this is what this one looks like. And I think I ended up paying like thirty some dollars for it too, which is sick. But this cup is going over like fifty, a hundred dollars over there. She was telling me. So on a uh, thing, as y'all can see, is Japanese writing. I ain't too good, but. Maybe somebody that got a translator or something can do it. And now I'll tell y'all the price of it. But yeah, this is just a really cute um, spike cup all the way around. It's a studded cup. And with this one, I wanted to get it too. Also, because like I said earlier, I'm not a lot of grande cups. I don't see them, especially like cute ones like this. So when I do see them, I pick them up. Because I'm more of a person that I'm quick to grab a grande cup over a venti because of the fact that I don't drink that much. So yeah that's that one all right the last kind of like cold cup and then we're gonna move into more like the metallic kind of cups or oh, what well, i got one more left after this one this is one i just got recently as well this one actually actually still be in stores right now but it's like this iridescent disco ball kind of tease look um i thought this was super cute and then the straw has like this crystal kind of like look to it so that's what this one is giving super nice so if you're interested in this one definitely make sure you pick it up because it should be still in stores right now it was 19.95 and yeah it's a venti and it's cute for the summer and the spring girl okay and then the last cold kind of like cup that i have is um this one and i've had this one for a long time too this one has been through the ringer with me as well but this is what it looks like i've used this as like a regular cup that's what i typically use for i take the lid off and i just use it as a cup like this which i feel like is more better but this is just what it looks like a cute cup and it's a glass cup and it, oof, it's so dirty but this um one was probably like 14.95 it's a grande as y'all can see and yeah just a really cute clear cup to have you know you got a company over there can use this cup or whatnot so that's that one all right, so the next portion of the video, y'all, is it's still going to be cold cups, but this is the one that kind of has, like, the ceramic metal on the inside and stuff, which that helps to keep your drinks uh, colder for a little bit longer. So the first thing we have here is this mint green one. So I had this one when I was working there as well. I can't remember what collection this came out with and what time, but this is what it looks like. So cute. And it just has the Starbucks logo on it. The only thing with these ones that kind of got on my nerves is the fact that that metal noise really used to irritate me and it kind of like made my teeth kind of jitter so that's the only thing i didn't like about these and these are what the inside of it looks like it's just that silver material 
and silver kind of um, look. So like I said, it helps keep your drinks and your hot stuff colder longer. I can't remember how much this one was, but typically these ran for about like $19.95. And if I didn't already say it, this is a venti. Okay, the next one I have is this hot pink one. Woof! I could go on and on and on about the story about this one, but to keep it short and sweet, I was looking for this cup for weeks and I couldn't find it nowhere. Everybody was charging OD on eBay and stuff for it. This was like back in the day. And I was like, I'm not paying that much for a cup. And then I ended up seeing it in Target and I don't know if they do it now, but at this point, you cannot use your Starbucks discount at uh, Target or stores that were not actual, I guess you could say, Starbucks stores. And so this one, I couldn't use it on, but I said bump it. Like, I'm going to get it because I've been looking for this cup everywhere and they've been trying to start 50 plus four. So I ate it and I paid $19.95 before tax. I was like, I'll take it. So this is this one. It's just this cute, hot Barbie pink um, ceramic cup. And then it also has that material, I guess, like I said, again, silver in the inside. Definitely, definitely, definitely a statement cup to have in the collection. And pink's my favorite color, so I had to get that. Um, this is the next one I have. So it's kind of like this rose gold kind of champagne tease. Definitely a heavy filling cup, but it is sturdy. It's rose gold, and it also has like a rose gold um, straw that came along with it. This one was $22.95, and yeah, I just thought this was so cute to have and you can use this all year round as well so that's that one all right y'all so we're gonna move on to the ceramic uh cups now so these are the more cups that kind of have like the uh double wall um material that's inside of it so you have to be very very careful with ceramic cups because they can break very easily because they're kind of like um glass in a sense so the first one i have is this cutie so it kind of looks like a pineapple but it's like in this pink material but the crossing that's in it reminds me of a pineapple. So this is a hot cup as y'all can see and you just take the lid and you slide it back when you wanna, actually no, I think you pop it up. I can't remember, I ain't used it in so long. Oh, I think you slide it, but this is what the inside looks like. And this is a short, so you can only get like a short drink in this. Um, but I wanna say, there you go, so you slide it to the side in order to open it. But yeah, that's how this one looks. This one was $18.95 and I've had this one for years too. So I don't use this one too often because I don't really drink a short, but if I was at work, I would carry this with me and I wanted to drink some shots of espresso or something, I would just put it in this. So that's that one. The next one is actually near and dear to my heart too. An old coworker of mine actually bought this for me. Shout out to him. He went to the actual real Starbucks, uh, well the first Starbucks ever in Seattle and got this for me. And so this is the cup. Um, it's a ceramic cup and it says public market produce. So it's so, so cute. And like I said, he got it from the first ever Star Wars in Seattle. Like, how cool is that? So I didn't even have to go in order to be able to get the whole experience. But um, it has 1912 up there. So it's literally like, I guess, you know, giving that tease of what it would have been like at the store. It came with this orange top. Um, and this one was $22.95. And again, it has that ceramic material on the inside, the double wall. So super cute. I love this cup. It's near and dear to my heart. I'm always going to have this in my collection. So... Yeah, that's that one. Next one is another one that I really, really like too. When Starbucks used to sell cups online or whatnot on their website, I had picked this one up and this is actually one from their collection when they did like a whole bunch of different states. And this was the Los Angeles one. I love this one. This used to be my favorite cup, my favorite hot cup. Um, but it's just this cute girl up here and she's sipping her little Starbucks. You see her, she real fancy. She's sipping her Starbucks, honey. With her glasses on, her glasses say Los Angeles. As y'all can see, and then it's pink, and then it has that Starbucks on the side. And then, again, that double wall, and then a sliding top. So, I absolutely love this cup. It was like, um, I want to say 22 something as well. And this is 12 ounces. I forgot to mention that. And the other one, the Pike Place one that I just showed y'all um, from the original store, that one was a tall as well. All right, y'all, so we're moving on to some more hot cups as well. So I'm gonna show you these two together because they're not really that spectacular. If everybody knows, you know, around Christmas time in November, you get the red cup for free when you buy like a holiday kind of drink. So as a partner, or well, used to be a partner, we used to always get first dibs on the cups. So this is one of the cups that we had one year. And then this is another cup that we got for like partner appreciation week or whatnot. Um, and it just has the logo up there and stuff. But these cups are typically like, they have these all the time, but they're plain and they only be like $2. So if you guys are interested in buying a Star Wars cup and you don't want to pay a whole bunch, 
check these out they ain't that grand but i mean it's something so that's these um, the next one i have is another one of my favorite um well used to be hot cups and it has that uh, aluminum kind of like feel on the inside so it keeps your drinks hot for a while and it's just a simple pink starbucks tumbler cup it's a grande size so i used to be able to fit a lot of my drinks in there and yeah keeps your drinks warm for quite a bit as well i can't find a lid to it right now but you know that's what it looks like the next one i have is from a collection that they had during the holidays um i want to say this was like the collection before i had actually left in december of 2018 so this is what this one looks like they had a black one a red one this one and these were actually very very cheap they were only like 9.95 and i'm like shoot this is a really cute cup and it's very cheap and to open it yeah you just slide it over to the side like that it has um the regular inside so it's no like ceramic or anything like that before 9.95 this is not a bad looking cup if i must say so myself so that's that one and it just has a starbucks logo up there the next one is oh and that was a grande too if you guys were curious this one is a grande it's like a turtle shell um kind of like material actually no this is a tall yeah I lie. this is a tall this is a tortoise shell kind of like um drink i used to love this one too it just pops the top open right there i used to drink a lot of my teas and stuff in this and then you open it up and it looks like that the aluminum metal on the inside so it stays cold a little bit longer but yeah always gonna have a nice tall ceramic cup well not ceramic but an aluminum cup in the collection to keep your drinks nice and hot during the winter and fall and then uh we have this one which this is one of my more newer ones i want to say i got it last year and it's just like this cute pink tumbler it keeps your drinks hot up to four hours it says and this is a tall too this one was 19.95 and it's just this really prank pretty uh pink color like an iridescent look to it and then the inside is that metal material as well so that's that one. all right moving right along so now we're more so in the japan one so these are my more recent ones too but also these are ones that i didn't get in the collection so i'll show you these guys first and then i'll show y'all the main attraction so um these are the two that my bestie has sent me over from um japan or whatnot so i got these they're just like some hot tumbler cups one says i don't even know but i'm assuming that's japanese writing and then this one it says japan on and stuff so these are so cute and i believe these are grande so yeah they don't have like the inside where um the aluminum is in it but it's like the more so the plastic material so but they're super cute and i was definitely excited to get these so that's these and now we are on to the last portion of this video which is the japanese sakura collections so i'm super excited for y'all to see these first of all let's get to the bag shout out to my best because she sent me the bags that they had over there so i'm assuming it was like a cherry blossom kind of like tease with a lot of their stuff because a lot of them has flowers and different things on them so that's the bag that she had put it in that she had wrapped them and all that stuff so the first one is this water bottle so i thought this was super cute it's like in this pink and light blue color and so this is how you open it too and as y'all can see the paper still in it so i have not used these at all i don't know the price of these y'all and they got the japanese writing on the bottom so again if y'all know how to translate if y'all know how to translate then there you go but that's what this one looks like it has just this cute little like flower top on it so so dope super excited to use this next one i have is another one that has like that glittery look to it with this one you can shake it upside and down and i believe it moves if i'm not mistaken yep so it kind of moves a little bit but it's like a tumbler it has that plastic material on the inside the only thing is it's a little confusing because it has this i'm assuming they have this for like tea like for you to strain it and stuff that's what i'm thinking it's for but um I'm not sure how you open oh there it go yeah so i think that's like a tea strainer thing but as y'all can see i haven't used this either but this is so cute it has like the flowers on it and the glitter at the bottom and then it comes with a nice little strainer too so yep that is that one y'all one last look at it the next one we have here is like a mug i'm surprised it didn't break when it came over here but it's like an iridescent 
kind of mug very very cute i love glass cups like this to keep like on my carrot or just out in the open that's kind of like a um like a nice little detailing piece to have and this one is so cute has a little handle on it and stuff not sure the price again but i'll put it down below if anybody wants to translate it and yep that is this one and then lastly we have this um now i believe the inside of this is aluminum so this is probably gonna drink my uh, keep my drinks colder and hotter longer but this is what this one looks like so it's another one that has like that blue pink thing going on it's flowers all on it and then it has like that nice aluminum looking uh, stripe thing going on with it starbucks is on the top of it as y'all can see and then you pop the lid open like this so it's like a top lid and then the inside is that aluminum again so i want to say out of all of these i think this was the most expensive one i think this one was like 50 like their cups was kind of a little pricey but i guess over there this collection is like very very serious like people don't be playing about them and the resale value on it is crazy too if you don't believe me look it up so that's this one i just realized y'all i forgot to show y'all one cup it's not really special but i mean i might, I might as well show it because it's right here but it's just this regular old uh cup this thing looks a fool at this point but it is one of my holy grails i've had this cup for the longest i drink a lot of my tea and my coffee out of it when i used to drink it frequently but yeah this is like my cup i usually keep on my carry but now that i got that other iridescent one i'll probably replace this one because this one's starting to look dusty because i've had it for so long but this is also in a um 18 ounce a venti well this is beyond a venti because the venti is 16 ounces so this is actually in near trenta but yeah so it fits a whole nice little cup of coffee in this so that's what that looks like okay i forgot to add this part in the video as well but um these are the swell bottles that i got so sometimes um swell and starbucks they do collaborations together and come with different designs and stuff these particular ones i got from the um i think it was like the lily paulus i forgot her last name this is the collaboration she did with them so this is the first swell bottle i got oh uh, it says liberty fabrics okay maybe that was that one then but this is the first one so i thought this was super cute and if you don't know what swells are swells are bottles that keep your drinks cold for 12 hours and then your hot drinks hot for 24 hours if i'm not mistaken um it has the aluminum inside so this is great for water bottles and other kind of drinks that you want to keep cold for a while we're going to be out all day at work going to the beach or something so super cute this nice little print that they have up here so i picked this one up i also got this one also, this was a different collection. This was the Curtis Cologne collaboration. And this is a light pink swell bottle. And it says love up there. So I thought this one was super cute. Y'all know pink's my favorite color. So I had to pick this one up. And these swell bottles do not be cheap. Like this one was like, I want to say $40. But I guess it's worth it because it keeps your drinks cold for a long time. So that's this one. And then the last one is the same one from the Curtis Cling uh, collection as well. And this one just says love me a pen. Now this one's a little more beat up. I've dropped this one and stuff quite a bit. So the paint is chipping off this. And I don't know what the lid is either. But same ordeal. Just a different logo on the front. And this one is in this pretty yellow color. And that's what this one looks like. And yeah. That is the uh, all the swell bottles that I have from Starbucks. All right, y'all, and that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Child, I'm over here about to knock the cups over. I hope you guys enjoyed my um, Starbucks cup collection. Definitely comment down below which one is your favorite one. Comment down below as well if you're a Starbucks collect uh, collector too. I love to meet people that like to do this stuff as well because at first I felt like I was like, this got to be a problem. Like something got to be wrong with me. But then I started to see like they got like Facebook group facebook groups and stuff now with people that do this like this is like a living for them they buy the cups and they resell it and they collect them and all kinds of stuff so now i don't feel so bad so if you're um a collector and you enjoy star wars cups too definitely make sure you comment down below if you made it all the way to the end of this video and you still haven't subscribed to the fam yet girl what are you waiting on oh boy because i forgot men watch me as well make sure you click that red subscribe button down below before leaving out if you enjoyed the video of course give your girl a thumbs up it definitely helps out and yeah y'all i hope you guys enjoyed like i said thank you all so 
so much and i will see you all in my next video bye y'all